Hello and welcome to our third video about Raspberry Pi 3 camera kit. In this particular video I'm going to show you how you guys are going to install the software operating system on this SD card. Uh, to uh, the, the kit comes preloaded with the software already inside but I'm going to show you how to reinstall it in case you need to. What you're going to need is a computer, a laptop or desktop that has an SD card reader in. The card is a micro SD, so it fits inside this adapter that comes with the kit. Okay, so we're going to insert the SD card into my laptop. And for the next portion of the video, I'm going to relay on my laptop. Hello again. Once the card is inserted into your computer, either Mac or PC, it will appear in the list of hard drive available for you to use. The first thing that I strongly recommend you do is to format the SD card. I myself use a particular software called SDF Formatter. I will have a link into the description of this video and it works for both PC and Mac. And you can choose the option to quick format and you'll also be able to give it a name to the SD card. Once the SD card is formatted and you appear back on your desktop, next thing you're going to do is go to the Raspberry Pi uh, website. You will click Downloads. You will select the Noobs Operating System. It's the easiest installation for new people and also work very well with the Raspberry Pi. And you're going to select the zip format to download. Now the file is pretty large, it's about 1 gig in size, so it's going to take some time to download. I already downloaded the software and moved the file on my desktop. Right here. You want to unzip this particular file. Once you unzip it, another folder will appear on your desktop or folder where you have the zip file. Uh, in regard to type of software to use for unzip, uh, the Mac comes with archive utility. For PC, I really like 7-zip. It's a wonderful utility. Once the file is unzipped, you're going to copy all of the file from inside the folder into your SD card. Once the file are copied, you're ready to insert the SD card into your Raspberry Pi and start with the setup. Hello again. Once you insert the SD card into your Raspberry Pi and you power up your Raspberry Pi, you're going to be prompted to install the Raspbian, which is recommended. So you're going to click on the checkbox and you're going to click Enter or I. Basically, this gives you a warning that it will install the operating system, anything that you have on the SD card will be reformatted. Click yes. It's going to take now a few minutes for the operating system to be installed onto your Raspberry Pi. Once the operating system is completely installed, you're going to receive a message that says the operating system is installed. You're going to click on the OK button and proceed to go to the GUI interface. This time, the operating system will reboot. The new operating system comes preloaded that will automatically log on into the Raspberry Pi. The username is Pi and the password is Raspberry. These are the default username and password. Once your Raspberry Pi completely boots, one of the first things you want to do is making sure that you are connected to the internet. To do so, you're going to click on the top right corner on the icon that shows the two computers. You're going to choose the, your home Wi-Fi network and you're going to connect to it. Once it connects, one of the first things that you want to do 
is to make sure that your Raspberry Pi has the latest updates and if there is need of any upgrade. To do so, you're going to open your command prompt or terminal. In the left top corner, you're going to open the terminal or you can click on menu, accessory and terminal. So let's click on the terminal. Now, the command line to receive any update, it is apt get update. But to make sure the command works, we're going to type in sudo space apt dash get update. Depending on how many updates are necessary, it will take some time for the list to be compiled. Now mind, with the get update, it doesn't actually upgrade any software. It just get a list of all the repository software installed on your Raspberry Pi. Once the update is complete, the next portion of the upgrade process is to actually get the upgrade for the software that you have. The command line, it is sudo dash apt dash get this time is upgrade. Click enter. This one might take a little bit longer because it's actually downloading the file packages for your Raspberry Pi. Now that we have updated and upgraded our computer, our Raspberry Pi, the next thing is even though we have the camera up installed on our Raspberry Pi, we want to make sure that our Raspberry Pi recognizes the camera. To do so, we're going to type in the following command sudo space raspi dash config. A new screen will appear, and we're going to select the option which is number six, which is enable camera. We're going to click enable. We're going to scroll back down, tab to finish, once you click finish you're going to be prompt that your Raspberry Pi will reboot and we're going to click yes. It should only take a few seconds for your Raspberry Pi to reboot and to have the camera present Okay, now that the Raspberry Pi completely reboot, we're going to open terminal again. At this time, we want to make sure that the camera on the Raspberry Pi actually work. To do so, we're going to use a Raspberry Pi command, which is called Raspi Still. It's the actual command that uh, allows to you to take picture with the camera. If you want to help knowing where the command is, you can type in help Raspi Still. So, Type in raspy steel space dash o. This is very important. This particular command line allows you to put a file extension to your to the picture that you're gonna be taking. Next, we're gonna type in the name of the picture that we are taking. Cam.jpg. If everything is okay, when I click enter, we're going to see the camera taking a picture. Here we go. So the camera took a picture. Now we're going to go to our file manager and you're going to see that it installed the camera in the main root folder of our Raspberry Pi. And here the camera that the camera took just a few seconds ago. So in this particular video I show you how to install the Noobs operating system onto your Raspberry Pi, perform a system update and system upgrade. We also have enabled the camera and we have taken our first picture with the newly installed Raspberry Pi camera.